this is the February 2017 reading for Libras. Happy Valentine's Day, Libras. Here we go. I'll start off with what's going on right now with you. So this could be any point during the month. Uh, the Empress is in your right now. So that's, um, whether you're a male or female, that's kind of really, to me, says feeling of sexual potency. So you're feeling kind of like a seductress or seductor that you can, uh, you know what you got and you, you're, you're willing to flaunt it and you, you're kind of all in. <laughs> um, feeling very sexually potent at the moment. So what's crossing you <clears throat> is the Six of Cups. Is um, may, There may be a relationship from the past that you are struggling with, either to let go or to keep um, memories of challenging you to keep, uh, you know, you may have just let go of a relationship, so that may be your challenge, and still feeling that you are, you know, potent, but having to deal with some kind of a, a past situation. It could, it could be, I mean, I'm, I'm not really getting scenarios here as to across the board, but if you're a single Libra, you may have a relationship in the past that you're kind of dwelling on and it's bringing up, welling up feelings of sexuality within you and maybe wanting to go off in that direction. Um, I'm just going to continue on and see where this sits. Uh, what's on your mind or in the air is the Five of Wands. So that's kind of um, the feeling I get from the card is basically someone admiring another relationship. So it's almost like um, that is what's going on. It's like, I wish I had that or I wish I had a relationship. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry through here and see what happens. Because there's, there's kind of an ad admiration of another relationship here that's going on in the mind. The energy that's passing away from you is a hermit, which is interesting because the hermit and the five of wands are very similar. Um, <clears throat> and you have someone that is... Um, in and amongst another couple. So the hermit is more like, actually the, the scenario that I just described is more of a passive sense like, yeah, feeling sadness for yourself for not having a relationship. And uh, the five of wands, I see, I see more like, yeah, I want that. I like that, you know, really admiring it and being active in it. Whereas the hermit is admiring it and feeling sorry for themselves and kind of uh, pulling themselves away. So that's interesting that you're thinking <laughs> is in your passing. Um, I'm just hard to translate this, but basically the idea that you are going to sit and do nothing is passing away, which is a very good energy because you, you really want to be active within your within your own, you know, sexuality even. What's in your near future? You have the Ten of Pentacles, so that's, that's, I mean, Pentacles are grounded, to me, grounded energy. So you have this man who's admiring this woman's body and ready to just feed her whatever she wants, and that's really the sense that I get for these Libras are like, yeah, I'm going to go into a relationship, and not only am I going to be in one, because I get a feeling that um, the immediate moment, it's kind of like having a yearning to be in a relationship. So in your near future, it's like, yeah, you have the abilities and you know. And it may be that you're in this position right now to give you a sense of what it's like to uh, appreciate, you know, because sometimes we have to have, we have to be alone to really truly appreciate being in a couple. So that's kind of the idea of getting here as well. And the Ten of Cups, uh, or the Ten of Pentacles, sorry, is just, um, you know, really bringing that air forward. It's like, yeah, you can, you're going to get into uh, some kind of a relationship where you're really going to be uh, sharing physically those, and, and being, um, not only sharing, but being in a mode where you're appreciative of everything and you're in the moment and, and really uh, delving into the, you know, the right things. In your distant future, I have the Two of Cups, which is um, <clears throat> really deep emotional. I mean, the Cups are always about emotions. So being sensitive, not only physically, like the Ten of Pentacles is ready to kind of get in there. In a clean way, though, uh, but the Two of Cups is really... Uh, 
being the beginning of that process. So that kind of is is moving into the feelings and all of the emotions that come with. So it's it's like there's a physical um, indulging and now and then in the future it's going to really delve into an emotional. So that's a good transition. Um, it's a good transition card. Like I'm saying transition, but from your near future to your distant future, it's like an evolution. You're you're growing in that way because it's growing into a deeper, more emotional thing. And even though I see this Ten of Pentacles as being very clean in the way that um, they're just not attacking the physical body for itself, I feel that it's more like there's a, a deeper appreciation for that. And then the Two of Cups just brings it into the emotional center, so it's awesome. And what I have coming along the path is the Seven of Swords, which is interesting because you have a situation where you have people that are really not communicating. They're not, um, they're in a bed and it's almost like, I don't know if they even had sex, you know. Um, so there's a sense of that looming in here somewhere, a sense of not communicating. So there's something awry there. And then the Magician card comes in and that is really having all the tools that you need to move yourself forward. Then we have Judgment, and the Judgment card I see as uh, really like the universal energies overlooking a union that you are either about to come into or are in or are looking for. And I feel like this is something that you are going through. Um, I feel like it may be a bit of a tough time. Um, I'm feeling for couples. It, it would be a rough patch um, that you have, you know what, somewhat come over and maybe for the month of, of February have kind of uh, let down your guard a little bit and, and let the right energies come in, but also that there is something wrong with the communication. You may get together physically and emotionally, but are not speaking from your truths uh, at some point yet. You really do have all that you need within, you know, within yourself, these Libras. It's just that there's lack of communication there. It's kind of throwing things a little bit. And then past the judgment, which, I mean, to me, like I said, is, is really, you know, the universal energies tying someone together. And it could be for lessons of learning. could be for you know, for life learning lessons. And the end card, the end result, we have the King of, of Chalices, which is, which is like I see as a jealousy card of being angry at, at, you know, they have a couple in the background and it's not necessarily that you're um, jealous of another couple. You may be jealous of, of something within the relationship itself. It's almost like I get the feeling with these two cards uh, from before you're, One's passing away and one's entering. It's almost like there's maybe a, a, a disjointment in your mind of what you're asking for uh, outwardly to your partner. So if we have a coupled relationship here, you may be asking for things that you think your partner wants, but it's not things that you really want. Therefore, you're being unsatisfied in the bedroom in that way sexually you're going yeah that's what they'll put up with or that's what they'll do or that's what they want that's what you think they want <clears throat> and yet I don't know if there's a fearful way about it or just the way you've made up your mind you're going yeah they're not going to accept what I'm thinking or what I want or any kind of excitement in that way and I do feel it, it's sort of a, a going out of the norm from what you're used to and there's some kind of a jealousy around and maybe maybe you're seeing it from uh, somebody else's point of view and seeing what they're getting and then are jealous of that but yet it's it's almost like you're creating that own that on your own you are creating a situation where it's like you have all the tools to fix this you have the tools to fix it and make it the, I mean you got the emotion and the physical it's all there it's just a matter of being open and honest and about your sexuality, about the things that you want, uh, the things that you want to explore. It's almost like a barrier of reaching and, and you really have to trust your partner not to 
use that against you or to maybe not use it against you but to judge you too much for it you know and I feel like the the pairing for the the couples is quite strong that it, uh, it really will overcome even if it is not received well it will be overcome and compromised to a degree where you know each pe each person can get what they want a little bit of what they want it may not be a complete compromise like yeah I'll do that it, but it, it may be something that can be compromised over to a degree that where you know the sex life is a little happier than it has been for the singles I feel like there's a lot of admir admiring going on of other people's relationships and we have some single people that are in the area and I feel like there's a little bit of lack of uh, going outward with you know I like this person and I want to get together and not not really going outward with that not telling them not letting them know and you just will never find out until you do and so the singles need to kind of come out of their shell a little bit and work um, work their magic because they, they have some tools here and they're feeling a little bit on the downside of things like they don't have enough guts and gumption and hey Valentine's Day is a great time for somebody to, to learn about um, someone that you know has a crush on them or whatever or may just you know give them some ideas I mean February would be great for that so I feel like there's some good outcomes I, but I feel like uh, the jealousy is coming from the lack of going outward lack of communication is causing a direct line here where things can be <clears throat> where you just sit in that that bubble of yeah I wish I had and it doesn't change so there are some possibilities here for getting what you want you just have to kind of go out of your shell to get them now clarification card from the whispers of love deck says express love through gifts giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them so yeah so th use a gift maybe as a a way of <laughs> breaking the ice so to speak uh, maybe not coming out so forward as saying you know I like you because it's really hard to put that into something some kind of a <laughs> you know that's not going to be taken offensive or that I mean guys are getting a hard break nowadays especially if they want to tell someone then they care everybody's so suspicious of you know giving me your number or giving you know that kind of thing there's a lot of judgment that goes around there and um, so maybe just giving a, a simple gift um, it doesn't even have to be too lavish just to let them know that you know you care and those things get through I mean even if people are thick they get through in little ways it's like yeah yeah somebody wouldn't go to that length you know because sometimes people have to be convinced <clears throat> of what's going on so that's a great way to do it that's a great way to do it yeah that makes sense so for the singles, there's, there's just kind of um, them being in a single mode and wanting to get out of that but not really having the gumption to maybe, or the guts to say it, but yet having all the tools to be able to do it and do it properly and do it right. And not only that, get a, get a good result, at, um, you know, as well. So that's basically the singles and um, people that are dating. I feel are kind of going through a phase, yeah, the the dating and the people that are very much solid relationships are kind of in a similar situation where they're kind of just not communicating what it is that they want specifically in the, in the bedroom and they have to, and depending on the, if you're in a dating status, be careful because it could be a little dicey there. You might have to, to back off a little bit. Uh, and just give it some time but if you're in a solid you know long-term relationship I feel that you definitely you know you know enough about your partner that you can give forward and and I mean you know do it in a way that that you trust that they'll handle the information and and even though they may you know think of it differently there is a compromise that can be come to out of it so so that is for Libras for February 2017. Hope that helps some of you out there. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. 
So take care, have fun, and be kind.